Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Today I found out, you know, uh, that yesterday, Boosie case got picked up by the feds, you know, with his gun charge. And uh, I kind of, I didn't see that coming, but once I heard, you know, people talking about it before it happened, um, I, I kind of seen it coming due to the fact, yeah, he beat the murder charges and, uh, Stuff like that, but fuck the you know you know excuse my mouth, but uh um, fuck it, fuck the murder charge. These people are out the boosie due to the fact of the things he speak out on. These people are out the boosie because boosie is putting a dent in their agenda that they're trying to push. See, the agenda that they're trying to push, they wanted to be pushed fast. You know, Satan wanted to be pushed fast. He want everything, you know, fast so he could take full control fast, you know. And, um, but you have people like Boosie, you have people like Charleston White. Um, uh, you know, I'm going to make a video about Charleston White. You know, Charleston White, I like what he do, but I feel like the only thing that keeps Charleston White safe is he's the police. You see what I'm saying? How did he predict Boosie get picked up by the feds? Why did Charleston White just automatically go at Boosie? You know what I'm saying? That's because, I, you know, I feel like Charleston White already have talked with the feds. You know, uh, he be with the feds, eat lunch with the feds, and I think they tell him to go at certain people, you know. But Charleston White, I'm going to use that in a whole nother video. But right now, we're going to talk about this Boosie case. So I just seen a video on Hookah Anonymous. Um, Hookah Anonymous, you know, was saying that this interview got... Boosie, you know, picked up by the feds, you know, um, not saying it's true, but in the, if you ask me, I say it's true. And if you sit back, Boosie is in Mal Poffa's, you know, interview. And this is in New York, you know, for years, New York, we always felt like New York niggas, you know, hated on us down south. You know what I'm saying? Especially like Boosie, look at him, he a boss, you know what I'm saying? And he's sitting in, you know, in front of Mal Poffa hating ass, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never really liked Mal Poffa. I don't like his energy. I don't like... I don't really like nothing about, especially things that come out about him, you know, uh, with the rape allegations, you know, uh, that man fighting some real demons, you know what I'm saying? And he can't hide it, but let's get back to Boosie. My Papa ain't done with you. I feel like my Papa set Boosie up, y'all. I feel like my Papa had a talk um, with some elite people, because what in the, what? possessed you to ask a question about his legal case like what what why would that even why would that even matter like what i don't understand but let's 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 get into the video y'all i want y'all to check everybody faces out but what people say watch what they do watch their eyes the eyes is the window to the soul pay attention yeah i'm not gonna do none of that shit. Right. Mm. Like baby. Oh. Look at the guy in the back. Look how he looking at Boosie. You know what I'm saying? He looking at him, you know, like he's a, admiring what he say. But if you actually look, and that man ain't got Boosie's good intentions in mind. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the guy with the hat to the side, you know, he look like he probably, you know, the slow one, not the crew. But, you know, uh, and he probably wasn't part of their conversation before the interview. You know what I'm saying? He probably wasn't even there. But I guarantee you, he was. You know what I'm saying? overthrow a parent just because you lied. It's not going. Right. Let's rewind that. I want y'all to look at Mal Papa face. Watch his face. Man, Watch that boosty talk. Right. You're not going to baby to overthrow a parent just because you lied. It, it's not going. Right. Look at him. Hey, I keep missing child, this part, y'all, yeah, but I'm not redoing this, this video. You're not gonna be able to overthrow a parent. Everything with me is lie. authentic. I it, got a booger on my going. nose, that's what yeah. it is. Bam! God damn it. Gonna yeah. be a child friend. I'm not gonna none of that shit. Right. You're not gonna be able to overthrow a parent just because you lied. It, it's not going. Yeah. Got him. Look at him, y'all. Look at him. Y'all really believe that? Look at this sinister looking ass face. I, it's just something about this man. I, I just, it don't sit right with me, man. It don't sit right with me, man. And I really feel some type of way because Boosie, I raised up on Boosie, man. You know, uh, 
I ch I'm trying to change my ways, yeah, you know, but, you know, when I was coming up in the streets, man, Boosie is who I lived. Boosie was my daddy, you know what I'm saying? Man, let's let's keep going. Man. I don't want to get off topic. So we're going to make a choice. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Y'all see that? See that you ain't going to tell me you didn't see that. Come on. For the summer. You got a choice. You got choices. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Y'all, man, listen, man, before this interview, look at him, look at him. These people had a discussion about Boosie for a kid. They don't like Boosie. You can see it. He don't like Boosie at all. He's, he has something to do with Boosie Case, man. I don't give a damn. Somebody talked to him and told him to ask that question. Look at his face. I, I'm going to tell you, he looked like he got something up his sleeve. He looked like he know, like, Boosie, yeah, I got you fucked. Am I lying? He looking at Boosie like, you know, I got you fucked. Well, if he would have asked Boosie a question and Boosie would have snapped out, hit him in the mouth, they whooped his ass, he wouldn't have gave a damn because he know he won. Before the interview even started. Not making life. And this me standing up. If I break now, what I'm gonna break to later from? Mm -hmm. When he gonna when he gonna do something? Ain't no break. And that's the bottom. And that's the bottom line. Bottom line. That's the line. She was with you for twelve her. years. Yeah. Couldn't be twelve more. Don't even at that. Well, you know, watching. Because I, Boosie, where do you where do you find where do you find your peace at? You under uh, so much stress, so much of stress. it is self-inflicted. Self-inflicted. You know, you see, they're trying to, Boosie know what they're doing. That's why he keep trying to lighten up the situation, you know, and laugh, you know, stuff like that. But Boosie knows what's going on. That room is probably, that energy in that room is all, look at this motherfucker. Look, look how that, he look like he want to hit Boosie dead in his goddamn mouth. Look at him. Let's keep going. Peace when I get back home for the week, Monday through Thursday. That's when I find my peace. You know, I, I'm being a dad. Them, I'm at my state. I'm just. That's when I find. I got four you, days. You smiling? Just talking about yeah. it. I got four days to find. I get in my bed, bro. I sleep in my bed, bro. Feel so good. To, you know, on this road, man. Bro. Feel so good to get back to your bed. Sometimes taking mm -hmm. all these showers. Hot as water in different cities. <laughs> <laughs> man, be crazy. Fake ass laughing. <laughs> look, look at this ugly motherfucker. You know, hey man, listen, man. I, I want to get on New York niggas and then that's type that spirit that they deal with, that jealous, envious spirit. New York, it's it's a different type of spirit with them niggas, man. But you know, uh, we're gonna keep going, man. At, uh. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. You know, uh, I made my channel a while ago, you know, but Boosie about to say something. And I feel like he was talking to me when he said it. You know what I'm saying? He say, uh, you know, he, he a money getter. And, you know, when topics are hot, you know, he he jump on it. He make money off of it. And, you know, Boosie's a hot topic right now. And I feel like the things that I have to say and the things that I see needs to be heard. You know, instead of me hearing it, you know what I'm saying? Instead of me and God knowing about what I know, I feel like the world need to know, you know what I'm saying? Because um, this shit get deep, y'all. And, you know, and that's what I, that's what I, I want a woman to hold me. You know what I'm saying? That's what I give my peace. I want to, you know what I'm saying? You see, you see how, you see how Mr. Dreads you looking. You know, sometimes when I get, I, my peace is when I, when a woman just come in and, and, and put her feet on mine. <laughs> that shit ain't even really all that funny, you know what I'm saying? You know, bro, I just... I, Look at I like him, still people. smiling. I like, I like going home to, to what I got. And I don't even know why I want more. That's crazy. Same that shit. That's crazy, bro. Going home to what I go home to, bro. I don't know, bro. It's just... Just thinking about it almost made him slide off the chair. Bro. I don't know why. I, I like, bro, I, I go home and I be so... I feel like he. I feel like he's genuine because he's slow. You see what I'm saying? I feel like he's the most innocent one in the room. You know what I'm saying? Uh, between him and Boosie. He might be even more innocent than Boosie. You see what I'm saying? Who the hell still rock they had that way? You see what I'm saying? He's innocent. Happy to get to my house and 
Talk about money on the money machine. Oh, I bet when he said that, that means that they blood boil. Man, bro, that be my piece, bro. That be my piece, my home. Free boosted, man. I love you, bro. That was a good question, man. It just came up to me with the script, bro. And I feel like Water Boys was out. Twisted tea is a refreshing hard iced huh. tea. I done paid for this shit. This shit still give me a hot topic. And I'm a hustler. You bring a script to me, tell me how much you can shoot it for, and then the numbers are. <laughs> <laughs> you am calling the camera. I'm calling the camera. <laughs> I'm calling the camera. Bro. I'm a hustler. You write a good script, you know. Uh, my boosty you know, it's, it's not a Netflix, but. For me, it's everything. It's everything. For me, it's everything. My move is going on now. Steady getting more, more and more things, just like music. Mm -hmm. um, Look at him, y'all. I can't stand that nigga, man. And I get everything. Why, why was it important to have that BooseyBooseyDotcom? I really want to make a video, and I will. I want to see how this video go. I want to see uh, if y'all even see my videos. If so... I'm gonna make a video on that interview. We asked Boosie about that car, that gun situation. We're gonna have a talk about that. Um, and I, and I take the Netflix deal. I tried to go when I first started shooting the film. I tried to go to Netflix. I tried to go to everybody, but nobody respected me as a filmmaker. They probably respected me more as an actor. Mm. You know, they didn't respect me as a director, filmmaker, and things like that. And uh, the money they was offering me, you know. He looks so uncomfortable. You know what I mean? He looks so uncomfortable trying to look comfortable, trying to look normal, trying to hide the fact that he don't like this man. Look, just look at him. For six months for my movie, it was just, it was just, I knew, I, it was just a low blow to me. Right. You know, someone was like, you know, a million dollars for your movie for six months, you know. I made it in 24 hours. Look, look, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Mm, look, at, look at him. He's marinating in the envy and in, in the jealousy. And the that shit is just, that shit just took over him just now. He's possessed right now. He is fucking possessed right now over another man's success. Oh, oh, I'm going to tell you why it's, so, why it's so strong. Another man's success. From the south. Mm. On my own, on my own. Look, look, he's, he's yeah, back alive. Whole oh, demon. Website. So I beat them. That's the you know, would, would you ever take those numbers back and be like, give me 50 million? Money always arouses me. <laughs> <laughs> Money always. And the only reason I'm telling y'all this because, uh, this part right here is what made me make this video, man. And I thank you, Boosie. I thank you. It arouses me. Uh, I got a distro key catalog. I think I'm finna sell right now. I just got an offer for that. But I'm finna go on my computer and put five more distro keys back on there. Mm -hmm. After I sell this catalog because, hey, man, I, I'm a streamer. Right. All this shit was in the I did all this shit for free. I did, you know. I, you look at him, look at him, that fake ass. Woo! I mean, man, I'm into that. <laughs> I can do this shit over and over and over again. But you know how the catalogs go. You got to make sure that you won't give it away or get it back in 15 years. And you mm -hmm. take more money, less money, get it back in 20 years, right. things like that. What about license, though? I'm entertained with that. It's the same kind of situation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm entertained with that bag. Bro. Like, if you can... Because what they give them for catalogs right now, bro, some of us might not even live that long to see those. Right. Mm -hmm. But but that's that's kind of like the family property. Yeah, but you can get it back when you're gone. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You can get a, you can get a big old bag right now. That's what Jermaine Dupri did. Now mm -hmm. you're going to get everything back. Mm -hmm. Everything back. Comes back around because you did your deal for 20 years. All right, y'all. I'm going to stop right here. Lord, you know, I, I hope 
the most high, you know, show mercy and favor on Boosie, you know, with this case. Just like he did in the last case, because, you know, uh, we know that they're not after Boosie just because, you know, laws are broke. They're after Boosie because he's putting a dent in their agenda and um, he's keeping kids straight, you know, stress, uh, especially boy kids. He's keeping them straight, you know, you if you know what I'm saying. Um, and that's not what they like. You know, everything that's against God, everything that God dislikes, that's what they want normalized. And uh, free Boosie, man. Uh, yeah, I watch these people, man. The, the elites are all in our culture. You know what I mean? They are all in it. I mean, they own it. So these interviewers, these rappers, all that, man, these record labels, man, they are the feds, y'all. They are the feds. Man, when Boosie came out talking about gays and all, they had something very, they've been waiting to do this. When people come sign these deals, they know you got to ride around with guns because you inside the culture. They know you ride around with drugs. You inside the culture. So guess what they do is the guy you signed that deal with, his brother works with the feds. Matter of fact, his brother is a captain of the feds. The same way we know all the black people or, or white people or Mexican, your community, whatever you are, you see how, you know, in your community, almost everybody know everybody. Well, their community is the same freaking way. Everybody know everybody. My daughter woke up, I guess that's my son, y'all. I pray that people get to see this video. I pray that y'all subscribe. And we'll move on from here. Uh, I'm new to this, so I guess my outing is peace and love, you know. Keep God first. Stay woke. And don't let nobody mislead you.